Hello everybody, I am Christopher 40 and welcome to another week of gaming where I continue to play Tropico 6 playing on the campaign maps. I'm continuing on the map of Acts of God. I will start off with the usual recap. But before we get to that, I'm going to get into this as you guys can see. I am showing you uh, El Presidente's Palace, which I had done the editing around the second episode. So I thought, let's delve into what is different this time. So as you guys can see, I have the layout uh, being the regular layout where we've got ha the majority of El Presidente's Palace at the back uh, of the property uh, off to the left side, left corner. Uh, with another portion near the front, basically. Uh, I've always tried changing it up, so I thought that that was a good idea. Uh, the palace itself has a... <laughs> apparently an Iron Man color scheme. I did not mean to do that when I was doing this, but it's kind of funny how it looks like that. So the first color being the orange color, second being a dark gray, third being red... The window style, as you guys can see, is uh, window style 4. And I'm doing plastered for the palace out, outer wall style. Uh, and so on. Next, I, I thought, this is a gold thing. I, I'll use the yellow brick road instead of the red carpet, because I don't have that access yet. Uh, as a, like, oh look, we have gold for f for a walkway. You're walking on gold, so I thought I'd use that as an example. <laughs> <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, and then, uh, besides that, we have the plastered wall to go with the plaster wall uh, style I'm using for the Presidente's Palace. Uh, we have the rooftop garden, as you can see up top on the roof. Uh, we have the hedge maids right over here. We are using the tall, spirally topiary along the path, and I have the cherry tree this time, because I thought I'd use the cherry tree and of something else. Uh, this is uh, the Presidente, El Presidente. I have them looking like the typical dictator with the dictator's hat uh, and the dictator's clothing, I believe. I did change up a little bit of the coloring to match the idea of there be gold in them hills! <laughs> or whatever the saying is, but yeah. Uh, didn't really change too much. Uh, gave him different glasses. Obviously I can't change the hair because... When you have, either I have a hat on or you have, uh, hair. Uh, which is kind of silly. Still, I kind of like that. But yeah. And then I kind of went with charismatic for this time compared to the savant. Because this is kind of useful at this point in time, being that we need to be charismatic with all the people that we have to deal with. But besides that, that is basically that. So let's get back to what I was going to do beforehand. The task overview. Let's get to there. So these are all the missions we have from last time. We're slowly but surely working on the Iskan Curse main quest. We just need to export, I would think, 1,000 and... 75 or 74 actually yes 1074 more gold to be exported exactly i believe if i'm doing my mental math right uh and then we'll get this mission done we have the guidance task i'm doing slightly but uh, slowly but surly uh i'm not always doing the guidance tasks from penultimo because some of them are a little too much i can't always do them all uh but yeah i'm doing that in the background uh just did this last week uh i'm recording these the same day just so people know uh, so we have the guard towers laid down and being built uh, uh, as as we're speaking. <laughs> After we're done speaking and we're do playing the game, sorry. Uh, so we're, we're doing that one. We're doing this where we need to get uh, from six soldiers to 30 because we have three guard towers. We'll get a fair amount between now and the end of this episode, hopefully. Uh, have optional quest, acts of smog. I have a canary... Have a cannery. I don't know why I'm getting the can cannery and the canary upgrade mixed up. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, produce canned goods and then we'll get that one done. We have a militarist demand for having a barracks, which might be useful to add more troops to our thing. For how much he wants us for troops. Uh, build a prison with the communist demand. 
from Marco Moreno. Uh, this having a commando garrison, which is technically having soldiers, I think. I don't know. And then producing milk. We might need to get, like, some, like, goats or, or, or sheep so we can get some milk to do something like that. And just in general. All right, so that's that. Let's unpause and continue on where we left off. Uh, luckily enough, we have been doing... I have been doing way better with the money. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a little bit more here before the transport ship comes in. Yeah, so we have... Uh, we have a construction office over here being built. Okay, we have some people coming over here doing... Yeah, here we are. So the guard towers are being built as we speak. Literally now. Don't mind me. <laughs> me being hilarious uh, with the way I'm talking. <laughs> Alright, so we have a few people over here, which is good. Okay, good. They're not swimming. I don't understand what happened there. I feel like that was totally a glitch the last time. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to take a guess we did not export any gold this time. No, I don't think so. Okay. But well, we're not doing too bad with exporting, so that could be ten times worse. Alright. I still don't have these, because I don't have a cigar place yet. Wait, how much is a cigar plantation? Uh, a cigar... I should, so, yeah, I'll get the, yeah, I have insufficient funds to purchase the cigar factory, but I totally have enough to do the blueprint. Yeah. And I just realized I don't need the manure spreader right now, but it is definitely going to be useful eventually once we start the plantations up. Because I know it's going to need that. Oh. The new guard towers are excellent, Presidente. They still have that new guard tower smell. As I was inspecting the installations, I did happen to see a suspicious shadow dance upon a wall. Was it the saboteur? I cannot be sure. For in the blink of an eye, gone. The songs the people are singing must be true, Presidente. The saboteur is some kind of guardian angel. Uh, that would make no sense, but okay. So we got blueprint for an army base and completed healthy paranoia. There we go. Nice. One quest down from last week. Yes. Perfecto. Okay. Not doing too bad. Yeah, I am not putting too many homes down. So that's for well off. Presidente, your political maneuverings are the stuff of legend. Excuse me while I take some notes. Like I said, I was doing that in the background for a while while we had it, so... Not that hard to do it sometimes. Perfect. Uh, so high schools and colleges also now allow adults to improve their education levels so they can take jobs with higher education requirements. Nice one. Did it. Guidance task. Done. Okay, I think we... Uh, how well are these? Oh yeah, wow. Wow. Uh, another one of those, just in case. Yes, it puts me a little bit more into debt, but we need to have more people living in homes. It is as imperative that they live somewhere. I'll probably put some more of those uh, flop houses on the other island as well. That's another night. Uh, idea of mine, just to make sure. How are we doing for money now? Okay, we have some corn, gold, and cloth, and they're just bringing in some more scenes. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. There's some steel. Oh! There's some fish, there we go! 
Good, we have like eight grand right there. I might be eventually able to get the cigar factory and start getting some cigars going out. Which would be a good idea. Okay. Anything else could go in the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. But can we trust the citizens to vote correctly? I wouldn't want them to wake up on the day after the election in a state of confused regret. Perhaps we should help them for their own good. Alright, well, I'm gonna say no allow the citizens to vote freely, because I've never had a problem with that. I'm also at ninety-five percent. Yeah. Like anyone's not going to vote for El Presidente. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get a fair amount of money here. We're at four grand, less than five grand, technically. There we go. Okay, I am going to... Let's come over here. Let's get a cigar factory and start producing some cigars. Okay, I'm going to put it like... Uh, oh, excuse me. Right... Here. No, no. Well, why would I put it there? I don't know why I put that there. That's a little bit of a weird place to put the cigar factory. Uh, I could put it. Oh, the spot was already taken. Yeah, I'll put it right here. And just because I want to be a little, oh, not weird. This is going to be another place where I put some stuff. So yeah, so we have the cigar factory. Yes, it's between the but the saboteur has not returned, and the gold shipments go well. But as the chancellor says, when things look good, it is time to plan for failure. I've yet to meet the saboteur who could outrun a machine gun, Presidente. I speak of the kind of gun that fires so many bullets so quickly that it is like horizontal rain. I squeak for joy when I burly man fires one. Please, obtain me some. So produce weapons. So I find it funny how I'm trying to prepare to produce weapons and I get this optional quest, a side order of firearms. Perfect. This actually works out. And we get export trade routes with the axis. Okay, I'm actually liking this. Blueprint for weapons factory. Oh, this is perfect. So we have the blueprint now for the weapons factory. I just can't get it. Even though, oh man, if I had known that, I wouldn't have ever purchased the uh, blueprints for it in the first place and would have waited. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we almost have this fort done, so it's not taking too long. Good. Oh, yeah, we have a fair amount of people over here that need to uh, get some homes, as well as it looks like some people over here are probably going to need some homes. Yep. All right, 1,085 gold. Just uh, nine, 900? 915 remaining for exporting of gold, exactly. Getting getting better with my mental math here. We have now 15 soldiers. We're working on get. Oh, oh. Yeah, we'll get another eight. Not six. So that might take us way up. Yeah. Than I expected. Ooh. Yeah, look at Blue Snip 7. Means we need to deal with those uh, other stuff there. Election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. Of course, the outcome was never in doubt. The people love their Presidente. Almost as much as your loyal Penultimo does. And see, I have a present for you. 
your very own wartime medal of valor for courage, selflessness, and electability. It is made of chocolate, so be careful in the sun. Results, uh, 182 loyal Tropicans voted for me. Seven individuals voted for my rival. Oh, yeah. All right, so we dealt with that. And we don't need to deal with that for another few years. Okay. How are we doing with the money? Okay, good. We're still doing good with money. Well, just... Okay, eight grand. Ooh, wow. So that should take us well above the minus six grand in debt. That is actually going up, funny enough, which is good. Okay. Good. I have some people going over there to build that. We should have like 23 soldiers, which means we need seven more. Nice. Not doing too bad. Okay. Wow. Now we're down minus eight grand. Okay. What is it like? Uh, it's because we probably purchased an awful lot. We don't have an awful lot of export. Yeah, we had like 30 grand worth in, in construction. Yep. Thought that would be the case. All right. A little over halfway through this episode. Uh, here we go. Building the flop houses. Nice. Yeah, we need people not in those... 11 grand. Nice. So we're just 200. Sorry, not two. Yeah, 200. Two grand over. So we're uh, 200 in the black, as people would say that. That's good. Okay, now we're not. Okay. Need to deal with the financial issues continuously. Okay. 1,418 exported of gold. Nice. So we're almost close to finishing that particular mission. Nice. All right, yeah, a little bit in debt now as we wait for the next ship. Not doing too bad, not doing eh. Half and half, happens all the time. There goes the ship, here comes another ship. Another mission. Your judgment is always impeccable, Presidente, but might I make a tiny suggestion? Eh, not this time, I'm not gonna deal with education. Sorry, Benultimo, not doing that one this time. Yes, we need seven more soldiers. It's funny enough, could just be another guard tower, but that would only give us six. No, sorry. A guard tower gives us three. What am I talking about? <laughs> um. Oh wow, nice. There's four and eight. Perfect. Uh, we could get the commando garrison. That's six, and then another guard tower. Barracks is eight. Which would just take us over, actually, if I got the barracks. Barracks is... Okay, yeah, they're both eight. Let's get a commando garrison. Because... Why not? And I am thinking... Uh... Oh, yeah, no, there's something over there. Then let's put the commander garrison right down over here. Then... Technically we can try and put a road down. Ah, 
There we go. Nice. Command a garrison with another six more people. Which will give us twenty-nine. So remember, if you want flying cars, be vigilant and buy war bonds. All right, getting closer and closer. Yeah. Okay, good. We have this. So let's get these operational. There we go. Plantations are open for business. Cigar factory ready. Let us get some cigars going. That should help get uh, some more money, hopefully. I don't know if we'll have enough people for it, though. Nine grand. Nice. There we go. Starting to do better and better every time. Just less than 500 gold to export next. I haven't gotten anything there yet. So wait. Wow, it doesn't take long to get that thing dealt with. Nice. Probably gonna need one more. Let's get another guard tower. And we'll put the guard tower... Right there. There we go. Then we'll have 30. Hopefully. Gonna need to get some more money. How much does it get the... About 18 grand. And not to be in the hole. Hopefully the cigars will help us. Hopefully next time we'll be able to get a weapons factory to continue to produce weapons both for the Axis and ourselves. Because it'll produce an awful lot of good money for 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 the uh, for the island going forward. Okay. Producing steel isn't doing too bad. Okay, good. They're getting tobacco. But we don't have... Wow. We don't have uh, too many people working at these places, so it means we need to get more people. I am tempted severely to get a pirate cove and bring in more people. You know, actually, that, 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 that actually seems like a good idea. Getting a pirate cove. And, and like... I must, must be on a beach. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get a pirate cove. Because... I think it's a good idea to do that. Because I don't know how many missions I've got where I need to get more people. So yeah, we'll do that. Pirate cove will be very useful. So we can get rescuing of citizens. Because I think we may need... Yeah, we have two unemployed. We need more people so that we can get them more employed. Uh, at all our places. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's pause it there for now. We've done a fair amount. We're completing the export... Uh, we're completing... Uh... The Iskin Curse, uh, we're about less than 500 away from completing that mission. We've got this mission to produce weapons, which we will be doing, hopefully, next time. Uh, we are still slowly but surely getting more and more, uh, soldiers for this mission, optional one. We have not yet thought, I've not yet thought to get the cannery and produce canned goods yet for this one, slowly but surely. 
Uh, still working on the potentially getting a build, uh, build a barracks, uh, prison, as well as uh, we've got the commando garrison. We need to do a few sabotage allies missions. And then we've got the produce milk. So besides that, fair amount left, hopefully. Next time will be different. All right. What else will we do next time? Find out next week. So please leave your comments in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it and share this with your friends. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you guys are wondering about uh, this video and last video, uh, both of them were done on the same day. So if you guys are wondering why I'm not uh, answering comments right away, it's because of that. Also, please subscribe if you have not subscribed and want to see any more future content. So, stay tuned for another week of gaming. And until then, stay healthy and stay safe. And keep on gaming out there. See you next time. Bye.